Hi, this is Steve James, and I'm here in my Seattle workshop to demo some guitars, old and new, that I've got hanging around here, and also to play some of the arrangements from my latest book for string letter publishing, Roots and Blues Fingerstyle Guitar Explorations. So, here's a little arrangement from the book. It's a new take on an old riff, and I call it Changet. More than a quarter century after the K Company made that trim little Stromberg Voisinet item, they were still at it with the ladder braced guitars, except instead of being a very small guitar, this one, as you can see, is very large, 17 inches across the lower bout, a K22. Again, it's ladder braced straight across its generous face. And instead of having a short scale like the Stromberg Voisinet, this one has a very long scale, 25.6 inches. Makes it ideal to put it in a low vastipole tuning. D, A, D, F sharp. some little bit of thunder from the big body, it still has that characteristic ladder brace twang. So I'm going to put all those characteristics to work and play a favorite folk song of mine that I also included in the Roots and Blues finger style guitar canticle. This one's called Green Corn.
And here's another ladder braced beauty from the 1930s. This one from about 1939, I think. It's a Kalamazoo Oriole, the famous KG-12, made by the Gibson Company, and modeled after their popular L double O design, but ladder braced. <laughs> Give it that nice bright sound. A Depression era guitar deserves a Depression era song. This is called All In, Downs and Outs. Here's an example of the modern ladder braced guitar phenomena. This is a Waterloo a WL14 made by Collings. And just as the Kalamazoo was uh, modeled after the L00, this guitar is modeled after the Collings C10, which is modeled after the L00, which is, well, never. Uh, same bright ladder brace sound and a very 1930s Depression era look as well. Guitarists who want to pay sonic tribute to our departed elders are especially fond of guitars like this one, a resonator guitar by National. This is a triolian made in 1930, but it doesn't matter what kind of resonator guitar it is, the sound always comes from a spun aluminum cone that looks like this. Some guitars have one big one, some have three little ones, they're all over the place. The cone, and it gives the guitar a characteristic sound. This instrument, made in 1930, has obviously been played quite a bit since then. And it has a sheet steel body, which gives it a characteristically bright sound. That's good for blues, so I'll play some. These are the dozens. Sex appeal was much too strong. You think it's okay? 
precious. You're drunk and outrageous. You spit me in the dozen. You pop her easy cousin. And you can't play the dozen. You play that precious. Classic guitar sounds of your, here's a national style one, tricone. Instead of having one large resonator, the beautiful and complex sound of this guitar comes from three little ones. I'm in open G Spanish here, D, G, D. play an arrangement also included in Roots and Blues fingerstyle guitar explorations. This is my take on Henry Thomas's classic Bulldoze Blues. <laughs> More resonator guitars. Here's a national WB, Rezzo Rocket. And uh, WB stands for wood body, and this sure has one. Unlike the vintage pieces that I've got hanging around here, this guitar is brand new. It just came out of the box. And it not only has a wooden body, but also a wooden sound well with a big resonator that makes uh, a quite unique sound even for a national guitar. I like these so much, I got my name in them. Woke up this morning, my yo-yo mama was gone. Woke up this morning, my yo-yo mama was gone. I stood 
Steve James, Roots and Blues, Finger Style, Guitar, Explorations. To me, no exploration would be complete without a mention of one of these little items. The Stella name, Legendary, was acquired by Harmony in 1939, and Harmony used it on their budget guitars. Uh, this instrument comes from about 1960, actually, so they continued using Stella for quite some time. And the Stella guitars and a lot of Harmony guitars from that period, the cheaper ones, had a very encouraging little logo right up here on the headstock. It said, Steel Reinforced Neck Made in USA. And there was something so positive and beautiful about that that I actually put it on my shirt. <laughs> Anyway, this little guitar is made of pure plywood, the binding is pure paint, and uh, it's a stencilman's design. The screwed on pick guard is essential to the sound. The one thing that I do with these guitars, and I, I guess you have understanding that I love them, is I remove the bolted on bridge and glue it to the face, therefore correcting the intonation, and then once it's properly glued down, I put the bolts in because that has a lot to do with the sound. Anyway, Stella by Harmony, steel reinforced neck made in USA. Short scale, plywood, Stella by Harmony, with a red to black sunburst of the kind you don't see around much anymore. Gives old Mr. James the blues. Thank mm -hmm. you. 